present at such a time when uh, Noah's Ark is uh, urgently needed, we might say. the destruction of the very environment that we need to sustain ourselves. Its self-interest has been driving humanity. We're sleepwalking, we're asleep. We don't seem to get it that we are, we are getting very close to a tipping point. lives have been taken over by the industrial world. Modern transportation, modern entertainment, modern education. Modern Western approach to consumption of goods and manufacture of unnecessary objects all the latest toys that you're encouraged to purchase and participate with. It all has created an absorbing uh, sequence of endless activities that sweep us up. We're on a path of self-destruction. It's getting worse and worse and worse. It's not getting better. We are seeing louder and louder and louder. We're at the point of no return. If we were to deal with two or three more major incidents in the state of California, fires, floods, natural disasters, or man-made disasters, there's not enough depth of resources. This is just the beginning. We're already plagued by serious drought. Summer drought has led to wildfires that are sweeping across California. That could be the latest evidence of global warming. Incredibly hot, it topped out at a... Great drama unfolding in front of our eyes. And, uh, and it's, a, it's a, a mythic proportions. A lot of times the ability to see what's coming gives you, the, the, the warning gives you the chance uh, to do something. If you see somebody, you know, sort of starting to fall asleep and they're about to run off the cliff or the edge of the mountain or something, you holler, hey, wake up. This is the time of destiny. It's the time when things are right for something to happen. Opportunity to help us look at what we're doing right now to change it. The danger is if you continue this way, you're heading for disaster. The opportunity is to rethink things, to look at things in a new way. The opportunity here is to have a leap in consciousness. We have to do things differently. We have to see things differently. You ask the Creator for your vision, for your purpose. Why are you alive? Why are you here? Give me my purpose. Give me my vision. Great Spirit, show me why I am here.